Okay, in this video, 2022 Canadian Open champion, Paula Rito. Great win today up there in Canada. Absolutely played great. Surprising she doesn't play well or win more often. She made it look so easy in the zone. Truly incredible. So take a look here. Drive her face on. It's great to see this view. We don't see it too often on telecasts. Sometimes, but perfect setup. Great pivot on the way back winds it up she's a very quick sort of quick twitch type of player in the gym all the time incredible athlete perfect wind up behind it coming down stays right inside the feet with the rotation of the hips and just rips it on through there fast swing very short swing with the irons not the best lines at all time in terms of coming down through impact but this week, it just didn't matter. She lag putted amazing. And she just got it done with just being in the zone. Watching her play this final round, she just she moves fast. She swings fast. She walks fast. She, she taps them in from two feet fast. Everything she does is quick, which isn't always my favorite look for a tour player. But like I said, this week, it just didn't matter. She was in the zone. It was her week. She was going to win. She either chipped it close or chipped it in. She lagged it close. It just looks so easy. Like I said, the swing line's great. Great left-hand position at the top. Not in the legs as much as she could be on the downswing. And as for as strong and fit as she is, I would expect her to hit it a little bit farther. But she could use the legs more. Sequentially awesome, though. Legs working. Hips totally clearing. Like I said, this driver was down the middle all day. Flying at about 240 to 250. So checking the swing plane here. Just a layup on a par 5. Perfect address position. Perfect posture. You'd expect that from someone that's in the gym that much. Keep the body in alignment. Up that club goes. Not a lot of turn in the backswing on some swings with the irons. Picks it up. Not a lot of hinge. But good sequence, like I said. The legs are moving first. Left arm is at least lagging a little bit up there across the body. But as you can see when she comes down, pretty far off that plane. Cameraman's moving a little bit. So if we put this line back in here, a little off the plane and the camera, like I said, probably not dead down the line, but swing this shot straight as an arrow right down the middle of the fairway. And we'll see on some other swings where that club is coming through a bit above and off that plane, and that caused some of the misses that were we shot or we saw in the back nine. This one came up a little bit short on the green, but a little short. We can see, like we said, three quarter action, not a lot of hinge. But sometimes she gets the handle way off the plane, like she did there. Like I said, it just causes some club face control issues at the bottom. It might, might not always be dead square, and I'm sure that must must be what she struggles with on, from time to time. Otherwise. As great as she swings it, especially like today, she'd be a household name. This one in there about 25, 30 feet left of the flag, which isn't the best shot with like what looks like an 8 or a 9 iron. Like we said, we know that as she gets moving down with these irons, even though this position is totally solid, which you would expect from a tour player with the wrists in position, sometimes a handle riding off the plane. And it's just a quick swing. You can't always get the timing right when it's that fast. A little extra release at the bottom in this club, or this ball, rather just curving off a little to the left. She had a few left shots today. Didn't matter. It was her week. Take a look at the driver here. See if we can get a good swing play. And this line looks pretty darn good with the camera. Picking it up pretty quick with the arms. Let's see how much this thing shallows out coming down. Not as shallow as some players like we've seen. Like I said, there's that club a little bit off the plane, which doesn't hurt the driver as much because it is up swinging a little bit coming up th through the ball. And the planes can be slightly shallower through impact and then handle higher. All these shots literally right down the middle. And it really looked about as easy of a round of golf as you could actually make it look. It was really impressive. This one here, also missing pretty good left. It's on the green, but it's 30, 35 feet left. And like I said, the cameraman moving around a little bit. Let's put this plane line back in. 
a little bit closer to where it should be. And it's on plane coming down. It's trying to get to that plane. It sort of looks at it at this point, but instead of the club tracking to the left longer through here to keep that face square, it tracks down the line too much this direction toward the target, which is going to create that side spin curving to the left, which is where this one ended up. Lag putting, like I said earlier, probably the thing that really helped seal a deal today. She had so many putts that were 30, 35 feet. This one stopped down here about two and a half, three feet, maybe a little bit more. Knocked it dead in. She had the speed all day long, just dead perfect. This one, she barely even touches it, and it just cruises in there super slow, but finds its way in. And she looked completely confident all day, lagging the ball up there. I think if she could find a way to slow herself down, she would really be a dominant player out there. She just moves so fast. It's hard to it's hard to keep that speed and energy going through four rounds of a tournament and kind of keep everything under control. You see the players that win more often, they just kind of have a slower a slower take about them. They move slower. They kind of do everything slower. And to me, she just seems super high energy, and that may be to her detriment on Sunday afternoons. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Big congrats to her once again. Fantastic win. Just a quick reminder, if it's your first time to the channel, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please please hit the like button as well. That really helps the channel grow. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.